Preparation of Agar Selection Plates When preparing agar plates, aseptic technique is essential. Aseptic techniques are procedures that we use to prevent contamination from occurring in our solid or liquid bacterial cultures. These techniques include things like not leaving your agar plate open for too long, and making sure you close lids on bottles when you are not using them. Also, sterilization of all materials and equipment by appropriate wrapping and handling are important procedures for microbiology. The first thing you need to do when preparing your agar plates is labeling the base of the agar plates with the antibiotic that you will be adding. It's important to note that we always label the base of the agar plate and not the lid, as the lid may become separated from the base. The next step is to add the antibiotic to the molten agar. The molten agar is cooled down to around 60 degrees in a water bath. Now we add one milliliter of the antibiotic solution to the molten agar. The antibiotic we are adding firstly is rifampicin. Rotate the bottle to mix. Don't shake the bottle or you will introduce bubbles into your agar. Pour the agar into the labelled plates so that each plate receives about 16 mils. Do not take too long over this, as the agar will start to set in the bottle. Repeat the same procedure again for the antibiotics streptomycin and allodexic acid. Allow the plates to set at room temperature. The plates need to be dry for the next step. Detection of the antibiotic resistant cells. Once your antibiotic plates have set, you are now ready to plate your cells onto the antibiotic selection agar plates. Label one set of plates as controls, or C, and the remaining three as mutagenized, or M. So there should be two rifampicins, one control and one mutagenized, two streptomycin plates, one control and one mutagenized, and two nalodexic plates, one control and one mutagenized. Now add 0.1 mils of your control cells to your control plates. And then using a glass spreader, spread the cells onto three different antibiotic agar plates making sure you change spreaders for each antibiotic plate. Work quickly or the liquid will dry into the plate before you have spread it.
Then add 0.1 ml of the mutagenized culture onto another 3 antibiotic agar plates. and spread again using the spreader. These plates are then incubated overnight at 37 degrees, and then the colonies are counted the following day. Counting colonies. To calculate the number of viable organisms per mil of the original sample, the following calculation is applied. Number of viable organisms is equal to the number of colonies multiplied by dilution factor multiplied by volume factor. So, for example, on the rifampicin control plate, there are two colonies. There was no dilution performed, and 100 microliters was added onto the plate, so the dilution factor would be 10. Therefore, the number of viable organisms equals 2 times 10 equals 20 organisms per 1 mil 